So we always ask people what their favourite piece of equipment, a favourite piece of kit, favourite technical piece, whatever it is that you can't live without. I have a piano downstairs. You can't see it here, but um, that's probably my, my pride and joy. I painted it white with house paint the day I got it. Right. <laughs> it's just like a nice uh, Wurlitzer student upright piano. And my grandparents had a Wurlitzer growing up, so I just knew that I liked that sound. And mm. Wurlitzer's got like a nice, nice sound, warm, not bright kind of thing going on. So it's got that clanky sort of pub piano vibe. Mm. And it's less formal. It's not a pretty sound, but like it's nostalgic at the same time. And I actually don't keep up with the tuning and kind of like it that way. And would that go on tour with you? I mean, you, or would you replicate that with a electronic keyboard of some kind probably just stay at home yeah. most likely <laughs> two things like i it's heavy as hell but then also i don't i'm just becoming like i don't know if this is a faux pas but i'm <laughs> but with live sound i'm just not a big i'm not a big advocate of like more microphones on stage because it just gets boomier and boomier so i'm just like if there was a piano i would just do like contact mics closed lid like even behind like a drum shield or something like i'm just like so not into live bleeding sounds, but I guess that's live music for you. The other question we always ask everybody is whether they have any advice for people. I just want to just stress the importance of um, a music community. It's so easy these days to just sort of be a solo musician or a solo act, but like really for us to really sort of create any sort of buzz in our cities or towns, like it's only going to happen if we do things together, whether it's collaborating in the studio or playing shows together. I think um, that's the, the biggest thing that I can take away from all of this. Even looking at all of this chill wave stuff, like sure, we're all solo acts, but we were all sort of moving together. It's just like really cool to see how, how important still community still is. And on top of that, no matter how far you make it in music, like it's, it's important to, to, hold on to that community and, and grow with them and bring everyone with you and if you can. So keep playing music with or without people, but also just try to have a community. 